Hey kids, I'm going to show you today how to get the Google Chrome extension Cami, and then some of how the neat tools that you'll be able to use with assignments that your teacher um, gives you in Google Classroom. So the first thing you'll do is you'll click apps over here in the left hand corner. And then the first thing that should pop up is the web store. Then you would type in Cami, K-A-M-I, enter. And then on the blue side, it's going to say add to Chrome. And so you would click it. And it's going to place it right here at the top of the toolbox with the K for you to use. Okay, so I'm going to go to a document real quick in Cami. Now, you will have access to it through your Google Classroom. So you don't ever have to go through it up here in your toolbox. You'll just open it in Google Classroom. Okay, so let me talk to you about some of these neat tools over here that you can use. The first one is just your select tool if you need to uh, select something particular in your text and then this this one is a dictionary so if there's something you're not sure of what the word is it you double click on it and then it will give you the definition of it the next one is text to speech so it will read something to you if you would like it read or if there's a word you're not sure how to say you could have it read just one word there are different languages here. I think it starts, it, it will ha automatically set up to this one. To me, this Google US English is the easiest one for, for me to understand. So you may want to play around with that and see. So for instance, if I wanted to read this page, I would just click play. But say I wasn't sure maybe what this word was, I would double click that word. And it's going to tell me what that word is. Say I wanted to read this whole paragraph. I'm going to click and drag my mouse so it highlights that whole paragraph. And when I let go, Ernest. it's going to read the whole paragraph Ernest for me. Ernest rarely barks. He never bites. He's very well behaved, except that he loves chewing Liam's shoes. So you can use that for any part of the document that they give you. The next tool is the highlighting tool. So if you were going through and needing to make annotations or if you needed to select an answer so let me go down here and say instead of circling an answer i wanted just to highlight which was the right answer i could click on my mouse and drag the highlight and it's going to turn it yellow you also have options to change those colors if you wanted to but if you make a mistake and that is not what you wanted to highlight all you need to do is hover your mouse over it and you'll have some options here and the little trash can will remove it for you. Okay, so let's talk about how we can type on a document. So I'm going to scroll down here just to give us um, a place where you would normally type and you click on the T. Then you click where you would want your answer. So for this question, it has you put them in order. So if I needed to put the number three, I could type three, then click on the next one and click what answer I would want. But what if it was a question you needed to type in? Same thing, you would just click on it and you could type your answer. But what if you were not sure how to maybe spell everything? You can click again and make yourself a text box. And then you can go in this upper right hand corner where this little microphone is and you can actually just say what your answer is. The dog ran away, period. Click off of it, and it typed it for you. I would go back and change this to a capital. Now I can take it, and I can drag my answer anywhere it needs to go. And I just had to say it out loud. I didn't have to do all that typing. I'm not going to show you all the tools. I'm just going to show you the ones that I feel like you will need in Google Classroom. So I'm going to go back up to this other page where it has true and false. And it says circle the correct answer. You could use the marker or the, the drawing pen here. Again, you can select the color and you could circle your answer with the mouse. I'm not that great at it. I probably would rather use the shape tool, but whichever one is easiest for you. So say I wanted to circle it with the shape tool. You have three choices, square, circle, and triangle. I have it selected on circle. And I could circle my answer and then let go. The last tool I'm going to talk to you about is this little eraser tool. So say there was something on here that I did not like. Say I did not like the way I drew my circle up here. I could double click on it. 
Come on. And it could go away. Say, I don't want this here. I could double click and it could go away. I could do the same thing for things that I highlighted up here. I could do it on top of things that I, I typed and it will make it go away. I just have to double click and it will disappear. I think it, this will be easy for you once you get around and you can play on it and, and practice with some of these tools, but it is a great way for you to type in your answers and complete your assignments through Google Classroom.